Oh, Lordy, Lord, 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 Lordy, Lord, Lord, Lordy, Lord, 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 Lord. Ah, I'm very hungry. Ah, I used to worry those would bother Chewbacca, and then now there's no worries. It's okay, BB. We all miss you. So. The air deflectors that I buy, there's still a mirror there. Actually, now that I can see it in the daylight, that mirror is dirty. It don't, I hope it needs to be cleaned and not just is ruined. I buy these, which slide apart if they work. Just got jammed in the box, there it goes. Slide apart, adjustable with magnets or screw in magnets, I just use the magnets. That one's shooting down so it doesn't fill my fucking, uh, alcohol and snacks with warmth in the winter that's not good and i had to put one in the guest bedroom because it was literally shooting into the back of the mattress and everyone was waking up like i can't breathe so we stole this one to put in the bedroom because this is less important but now i'm gonna put this one back so it's winter in the summertime you want to blow the cold air up so that it falls but in the winter time you want to blow the hot air down so that it rises you don't want to just blow it up although the fans here will probably cause it to come down anyway, but I'm gonna aim down regardless. <laughs> it just goes clippity clip and falls on the floor. And I'll get that one, I could actually bend down behind it. Just, you gotta get it right so it doesn't land on the screws. <sighs> and I'll do that in a second. But I'm not doing it on camera. And then, I was working on my car with my brother when we fucked up my black car. Destroyed one of the nuts for the adjustable suspension because it just was seized from six years of, of rust forming and the fucking giant threads. So we had to lock the nuts, and then we had to like twist it, and we were working on our knees, and I fucking, why don't I buy a fucking chair? Like a stool. Stool, yeah, stool. Um, oh, I can get the different wheels. This, you can tell this is a good foam because it's rock hard in the cold. I just brought this in from outside. It's a nice thick piece of foam for butts. I also like how it doesn't say anything on it. It doesn't say Matco Tools. It doesn't say fucking Ghibli, blah, blah, blah. It's just a fucking seat. It's a KK toner. Actually, that is just a really stiff piece of foam. I don't know if that's gonna be good. I'm gonna have to screw this thing together. What else we got? Bunch of shitty wheels, which I could legitimately upgrade. Because they look like just standard office wheels. Here's the pusher, push, push. This gets screwed onto here. <clears throat> if you're just choking your own spit, it's great. <clears throat> it's a terribly small little <clears throat> pneumatic thing. Exit the bag, you fuck. I'm fine. That goes in there, and it even comes with a tool to assemble it. And then this. I'm so hungry right now. I've got Thanksgiving leftovers in there, and I haven't eaten any of them. Well, I ate yesterday, but I ate the, the, the mashed potatoes and the green beans, which is not really, it's like, if that's gonna be any, deal, any meal. It's the stuffing and the sweet potato. That's the fucking Thanksgiving meal. Remove the cap before assembly. And a few, A-N-D-E-F-U. Do not open or heat up. So this is the bit that's gonna go into here to become the actual thing. And then under this cap is the part that when you hit it with this, it goes and extends. So yeah, um, give me a sec. <laughs> yeah, these wheels are not great, but they should work in a garage. The seat will probably break in or warm up and break in. Like, I feel it got a little bit of sproing to it. It really needs a ring because I don't know where the fuck that lifter is now. It's gone. There it is. It also could really use a tray. Um, my choices were the style like this, like a chair, 
which I feel like has a wider thing because I had a round one with a tray and the wheels are way too close together and you start sliding and then it falls the fuck over. So what I'm gonna do is now that I have this, um, I'll probably build a tray or find like a round thing that I could just put on this so you could put your tools down and roll around with it. But yeah, no, other than that pad being slightly not, <clears throat> like hopefully that works its way in. But that's a perfect chair for believing in the garage. You know, you gotta sit down, do something on the wheels, you lower it, do something on the wheels. S science. Soon I'll have no room to unbox anything. Soon. <laughs> What did I buy? Oh, that arrived fucking fast. Holy shit. Okay, so a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, which I need to try to use on the bathtub. Uh, I dropped the wooden thing my sister gave me and I scratched my bathtub up. I've never actually used a Magic Eraser. People tell me they're fucking fantastic and I'm just like, doesn't seem like it's special. What does it even do? Four times stronger with Durafoam, extra durable. Destroy dirt, clobber crud, manhandle muck, polish my earring. Texture services, grill grates, alloy car wheels. Uh, how to use wet, squeeze, erase. All right, well, we'll give that a shot later. You guys in the comments, tell me if you've ever used a magic eraser. I only have to open one of these. There's three of them, they're three identical ones. So let's move these two boys to the floor. They're heavy. My house is rather large, and even though it's 68 degrees right now, winter is coming. And the price of propane in my area is $2.45 a gallon, which is up 10 cents from the peak last year. And the peak last year cost me $700 to heat this house a month. And I'm like, fuck that. So now, with the price of propane getting even higher, I decided it was time to get a little more direct. So I bought a bought a three, not a three pack, they don't sell them in packs, but I bought three Amazon Basics because Amazon Basics is fine for what I need. Actually, the specific reason I want with these, but a three pack of 1500 watt electric heaters with uh, the safety measure of having this little foot. It's gotta be on the ground, although you can just blue tack that in. They smell wonderful, they smell like quality. That's a lie, they don't smell like quality. I don't know what a quality heater smells like. Although, here is the real reason I bought them, these particular ones. I needed ones without a digital control on top or remote. No remote, no digital control. Because I need to be able to set this, and I'm going to set it to low heat, not 1500. I'm going to set it to like, I think the low heat's. It says it's 1500. It doesn't say what the low heat is. But I'm going to set it to low heat. I'm going to set it with a thermostat. And I have a butt chunk fuck load of the Casa fucking switches pasta. Please link the Casa, TP link Casa outlets. And this is going to literally go like this. And I'm gonna go like this after I take off all these fucking flags that say don't do this probably. And this can only handle 10 amps which is why I won't be running it at 1500, although I am running one at 1500, it seems to work fine. I'm gonna run it low, I'm gonna put like one in that room, I'm gonna put one in my office, I'm gonna put one downstairs where I watch movies. So that's three fucking heaters. The basement especially always gets cold, although the radiant dish heater is what I have down there and might be what I keep. And then I'm gonna deal with my own bedroom, probably with a fucking, another Pioneer mini split unit, which I'll install maybe in the winter, maybe not, not sure. But I'll be able to literally set timers, well, I'm in the, like right now, if I'm in bed and I just say, hey, turn on the bathroom heaters, there's two bathroom heaters that turn on. So if I'm in the sunroom and I just, it's cold, turn on the sunroom heater. Because the more I can get warmth without using hundreds and hundreds of gallons of propane, that's what I'm going to do. And eventually I will solve this by probably changing out my current heat situation from a not propane, from a propane to a not propane. It's a very long, heavy cord though. Heater cord, by the way, which is specifically a type of power cord. Lay down gently. Um, is what people used to use for speaker wires. To just, you don't have speaker wires, you just use heater cord. And uh, this is rather stiff heater cord. I would get a much softer one. The aftermarket ones are nice and soft. But yeah, here, let's turn this bitch on. Although I'm gonna have to plug it in and then I have to find my phone. Let's at least just turn it on. 
Actually, we'll we'll skip the switch thing for now. Oh, and if you um don't know, oh Zios, I have a, a fifteen hundred watt heater, but it's much bigger and it's better. They're not. The fact Technology Connections did an entire fucking episode on space heaters, and that's how I found them. Where it's basically if you're using fifteen hundred watts to, to heat a room. Doesn't matter if it's a fucking radiant, a dish, you all you could do is change the delivery method, you're getting the same amount of heat. Because the efficiency of an electric heater is 100%. The efficiency of a heat pump is 300%, which is magic, because chemicals. But yeah, so there's, it's not super quiet. There's my, there's my thermostat. Very smooth thermostat, by the way. And there's only fan. Get it, only fan? <laughs> Ah, uh, so there's the heat's dissipating and coming off and then full fuck tilt It actually slows the fan down, but yeah, now that's perfect because then I can just have this thing go click Off and then click on and click off and I could set it to automatically turn off in case I fuck up Like if it's midnight, I might be like shut off all the heaters and if I'm in the room I just turn the heater back on but if I'm not in the room because I forgot about it. It's off I do that for like this light. This light in here, I would leave it on constantly. But if I leave that alone in three minutes, that'll turn off. Because in the CASA app, I set this switch, turn off in three minutes. So I don't know if I could set these to turn off for a specific amount of time, unless you push the button, but I could at least just be like, hey, turn off all the heaters and it will do that. So yeah, bought some heaters. And that's it. And now I'm gonna close the doors and use them tomorrow. Actually, no, I think Friday is when the rain starts. Yeah, I can see cars. Hi, car. Pause. Uh, that's already open. This wanted to open itself because it's, it thinks it's Christmas and we're not even there yet. Uh, you're boring. Oh, it's my subscribe and save order, which no longer contains cat food for obvious sad reasons. Um, we are now beyond the point where I think Chewbacca videos will be coming out. So if you missed the baby Buka Book girl, feel free to go watch the review of her or any reviews or unboxings from like probably the most, most of December, most of November, 2021, probably will still have Chewbacca in it. But um, I've changed it because here's the thing. If you do subscribe and save, you have to make sure, where the fuck is my Carnation's Instant Breakfast, you pricks? Um, you have to make sure you have a certain number of items or certain cost of items for them to keep the 15% savings. So I've replaced cat food now with a fresh dishwasher and washing machine cleaner tablets. And there's six in each, six here and six here. And they should arrive every six months. This should be perfect. As soon as I remember to wash, actually, no, wait, I should have twice as many of these. We have two dishwashers. Fuck, now I gotta check, because I think the one I ordered didn't have it. And, oh, six of these will arrive every three months. That's what it is. We got a lot of cardboard to burn, baby. Um, every three months, six of these will arrive, and every six months, six of these will arrive, because I have one washing machine. And I think when they arrive, I should I throw one in the, in, you know what, let's do that. Let's do that right now. Um, put my Koss KPH40s on my ears again, because they live on me. Um, I actually added these also, because these white bags are the bags I use for recycling. And I use only one bag usually every two weeks. But I only have this many of them. And that's disheartening if I gotta change too. Fuckload of clear bags, don't even use clear bags. But I got a fuckload of them. So let's whip out the afresh. All right, washing machine cleaner we could do. I don't think I have anything in the washing machine. The way these work, you have to do the washing machine alone. Like there can't be anything with it. The dishwasher we could do with things in the dishwasher. Hello pants, how are you doing? You go blah blah, you, you, you blah. There's always sand and shit, so always open it up in there. And then tells you to run it on the highest level of stupid with no soap, obviously, which would be the extra sanitary function. And rinse plus. And I'm gonna set it to very gentle spin because it doesn't need to like spin dry or no final spin, no final spin, because it's not whipping clothes around. 
So yeah, now that's done. So I have five of these left. And I just have to remember every time these show up, boom, do it that day. We're gonna keep these, because these will rattle off. We'll have a nice buffer of three more. Let's go to show you how well I know what I have in my house. All right, burn you, don't fall. And these, we have six, we need to use two of them today. And the way, and these you can do with items in there. So we're just gonna go a little less sand in that one. And I'm just gonna throw them in. I'll be filling that one before I leave to pick a pasta from America, and this one will go whenever it goes. They're just in there. They're, that's it. You're in there. You're ready to go. So that's it. That's how Zeus uh, manages to maintain his uh, subscribe and save numbers. I'm not practicing my stabby stabs for any reason. Fucking bitch. I mean, what? Um, yeah, that's that. And what else? What else do I need to take? Because this is months after this happened. Probably two months solidly after it happened. But I'm um, going to grab pasta from Canada. Flying up to grab her and drag her down in her car. And I've never driven 17 hours before. Or It's going to be 14 to 17. But what do I need? I brought these because she fucking hates goldfish. She had an incident. She could tell you about it in the, in the comments. But um, the little tiny little container of goldfish, which I'm going to save for the drive. But to make up for that, totally, I hate dill pickle, but here's some dill pickle uh, corn, popcorn. So it'll balance out. Anyway, see you all in 2022 when this video goes live.